Hello, uh, welcome to the channel, friends. This is uh, TechBooks Learning for Beginners. So today we will be uh, learning about how to create a new user for the company file and just assigning your passwords to the same file. So this is the same uh, sample file which has been opened right now. That's Sample Rock Castle Construction Company. And just to inform you again, this is Enterprise uh, Solutions 24.0 version. That's the desktop version. So we will be creating a username and password for the same and uh, let's start so <clears throat> this is the home page of the company and let's go and go to the uh, company options first and then go to the users menu and then we're going to the users panel that this option that says set up users and roles so we are clicking on that uh, intuit account user management is something which is the online uh, <clears throat> portal where you can go and sign into the intuit user account for your company so let's go and click on man, uh, set up users and roles. So it is uh, telling us to sign in to the Intuit account at scams.intuit.com. We are skipping on that part right now. So the second screen comes in which says <coughs> admin. Here you can see. So uh, I'm the admin of the company file, so I'm logged in as admin right now. Uh, provided uh, if there's any password to the admin file or not so when you open the file it will prompt you to enter the password so there and then you have to enter the password for your company file and let's go and uh, create a new uh, username right here uh, let's say I mention the name and password let me go and enter the password And it says uh, what kind of role you want to assign to Alex, right? That's the <coughs> username we are creating. So I can see that, let's say, I can say uh, accounts payable, right? I added to that, assigning roles to that. And it says uh, user's email. User's email means the Alex email. So I'm just uh, entering a dummy email to that. And once done, so I'm, I'm, I can assign more roles to the to this user where he can go and work in the file on the file with accounts receivable, accounts payable, banking, finance, or I can give the full access to this user as well. Okay. Let me click on OK. Let's see. <coughs> you can see that the Alex has the email address and the password also. So I can I can log in as Alex with the password I have assigned to Alex, right? Uh, uh, or maybe on the second computer I can log in as Alex and this computer I can log in as admin. So I will be able to use the same file on multi-user mode. Right? So let's go and uh, close this window and I can go and close the, uh, this file. So we will be logging again to this company file. That's the same file which we created and uh, Sample file. We are opening it now again. It will prompt me for the username, password. It is. So if there is any password to the admin, I can just put in the password and I will be able to log in. But here I am logging as Alex. I'm entering the password. Looking in now, <clears throat> it will show up the same uh, company homepage with all the information. So, Alex has got the accounts payable uh, usernames, right? Uh, accounts payable, I'm sorry, the accounts payable uh, as, a, as a role he can work with. And uh, let me just close this. Let me close the file again and I'm logging in again. with admin and I'm changing the username as admin there is no password for the admin so I'm logging straight away without entering the password it will allow me to enter the uh, enter into the company logging into the company 
that's again the same page for admin though the difference is admin has got all the rights full rights for the company file where he can go and access the vendors checks tables estimates everything but uh, alex has got the limited access where he can go and access only the accounts table area inside the big box so if i go and see uh, the company and the users again i will be able to see the two users so again i am logged in as admin and the second user is alex so if i want to <coughs> add a password to the admin i can do that here now creating a new password clicking on ok as for the security reasons we have to create a password for each file we are working on so just closing it now again the next time when I log in, it will ask me or it will me to enter the password the one which we have created just now. Because without entering the password, it will not allow me to log in. So it has it has allowed us to log in again. So we have two users and one is uh, admin and the other one is Alex so <clears throat> that's how we have learned like creating a new uh, users for the company file it depends on uh, how many users you need for each role uh, so it, it is not longer need to change or show the users I have to enter the password again To change the password for Alex, you have to, you, you have to log in as admin because admin has got the rights to change the password for all the users. So if I create 10 users here, they will show up here and I can change the password or I can create the new passwords for each user. So that's how it works. It, it also helps us to, this window also helps us to create new uh, roles. For each user, so I can go and assign to them, and uh, the areas like some 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 users are good in banking, I can assign to, to those areas to them. So that's how it works, right? So I have two users with with passwords on it, and that's for the security purpose. And don't recommend to create a password <coughs> inside the Quickbooks. Even if you log in to the web Quickbooks, uh, you have to enter the password and you have to create the username as well with your email address and password. Right? That's how it works. Uh, the security area and uh, also there's an offer going on for pickbooks online uh, we, I have I'm just putting a link to my description where you will be getting a six months uh, like 30 percent discount for the next six months one month uh, trial version is free so in total you have seven months in total and 30 percent is the, the discount uh, until it has launched there the link will be there in the description below so thank you for watching please subscribe for more videos and uh, have a boost uh, us for new contents please comment as well thank you very much you have a good day take care Bye.